Have you noticed your favorite websites glitching lately? Spotify freezes, chat GPT won't respond, your smart home suddenly becomes kind of dumb or unintelligent. And maybe you think, hey, is my Wi-Fi dying or is this just me? What's going on? No, it's not just you. Most of the day yesterday, I couldn't post to YouTube because my internet was down. In the past few weeks, the internet has actually broken repeatedly. What happens? Cloud trip. Cloudflare goes down, Amazon Web Services, AWS goes down, Microsoft Azure goes down. And when these giants fall, you feel it. Whether you're trying to order coffee, run your business, simply load a web page. And here's the question, why does this keep happening? And more importantly, what does it mean for you, your career, and the future of the digital world that you depend on? Let's break this down. So you could call this, you know, was yesterday the day the web sneezed? I mean, you wake up, you check your phone, and suddenly nothing seems to work. Music apps won't load, automation tools are totally frozen, even the news sites aren't updating. This week, that's exactly what happened. Cloudflare Flare yesterday, one of the biggest web infrastructure companies on the planet, suffered a disruption that rippled across the internet. It wasn't just my office, it was Spotify, Chat, GPT, Truth Social, right, where the president posts his stuff, all of those impacted. And before you brush it off, let me put this in perspective for you. Cloudflare handles 81 million HTTP requests per second, per second. So when Cloudflare stumbles, giants fall with it. And the cause was not a hacker. Thankfully, it wasn't a cyber attack. It was a configuration file, file that kept growing way beyond its expected size. It crashed the software responsible for managing threat traffic. So one tiny bug took down massive swaths of the internet. And Cloudflare CTO, Dane Neck, put it, said it was a routine change and it cascaded into a broad degradation of their entire network. Does that sound familiar? Well, yeah, it probably should, because just weeks before outage yesterday, AWS broke Amazon Web Services, not for minutes, but for hours. Millions of people suddenly couldn't order coffee, open apps, or manage smart home devices. Even businesses running mission critical operations were helpless. What caused that outage? Well, it was another bug. This time, two automated systems tried to update the same data at the exact same time. They collided, and the internet felt the shockwave. Then only a few days later, Microsoft Azure suffered a disruption, three global outages in less than a month. Maybe you remember back in 2024, a major outage that crashed a bunch of airlines even. So if you're wondering, are outages happening more often? The answer is sort of complicated. Technically, the number of major outages hasn't really skyrocketed, but the impact has. Why? Well, every year, more of your life, more of your business, more of your data run, runs through fewer and fewer companies. Amazon, Google, Microsoft, Cloudflare, four companies holding much of the modern internet. When they wobble, everything shakes, right? And I think we have this myth of tech invincibility. Most people don't want to admit that no tech company is invincible, not even the ones with trillions of dollars. Eileen Haggerty from NetScout put it bluntly, quote, it almost doesn't matter how sophisticated the IT organization is. These are very, very common problems. Now, 20 years ago, IT outages happened constantly. You could expect something to break every week. We were far less dependent on the tech. Your car wasn't dependent on so much technology to drive. You know, the difference today is everyone is using the same infrastructure, the same cloud, the same backbone, the same pipes. A glitch at a major provider doesn't affect one business. It affects the entire world. And I think this part should get your attention. Down Detector logs 2.1 million user-reported problems during yesterday's Cloudflare outage alone. It's not just an inconvenience, that's a preview of what's to come. I mean, 2.1 million people reported major problems. And that's just those who reported it. Are outages happening more often? Well, we looked at Cisco Thousand Eyes and it gives us some clarity. It says in 2022, these are just major outages. There were 10 major outages, 23, 13 major outages, and 24, 23 major outages. It just calculates 13 so far in 25. We're not quite done with the year yet. So on paper, the numbers kind of bounce around, but I think the more it happens and the more we become dependent on tech, it affects more people. I mean, think about your typical day. Your music's online. Your files are in the cloud. Your banking is on an app. Your thermostat is networked. Your car is connected. Business is probably digital end to end. So a single outage today can disrupt millions of individuals, entire companies, even global industries. And Cisco sees clear trends behind the failures, silent system issues that go unnoticed, Automated tools spreading bugs much faster, configuration changes cascading into total failure. The problems aren't new, but in some ways the consequences are, or the consequences are more widespread. I can talk directly to you, not as a random internet user, 
but as a Christian leader who depends on technology for business, for leadership, productivity, probably for your income. The reality is this, you're more vulnerable to outages today than ever before, not because you're careless, not because you're unprepared, because the world has consolidated its digital backbone. If AWS slows down, entire industries freeze. If Microsoft Azure stumbles, enterprises worldwide crying to a halt. If Cloudflare trips, a huge portion of the internet face plants. And you experience the pain instantly, even if your own systems are flawless. You feel the vulnerability way down to your coffee order. So your coffee order doesn't matter that much, but what about your payroll, your financials, your inventory, your customer onboarding, your invoices, your website, your data? Every outage is a reminder that your digital dependencies are probably far deeper than you think. So what should you do about it? Let's answer the big question. Will this keep happening? I think the obvious answer is yes. Absolutely yes. Not because companies are sloppy, but because the systems we rely on become unimaginably complex. Every automated task, every configuration file, every software update, every patch, every security layer, each one is a potential point of failure. And one IT expert said it this way, these could happen to any business, literally any business. And with AI becoming more prevalent, I think it just ramps up possibility. So what do you do? Number one, assume outages will happen. If part of your business goes offline, your plan shouldn't be to panic. It should be to have a process in place. Number two, build redundancy where it matters. Don't rely on a single service for mission critical operations. Flexibility is becoming a competitive advantage. Number three, know your digital dependencies. Most leaders have no idea how many cloud services they rely on until one of those breaks. Make a list, identify your risk points, and create backups. Number four, communicate during outages if you can. Silence kills trust. Your customers need to hear from you quickly, even if you don't yet have all the answers. Number five, keep your team prepared. Practice the whole scenario. What if everything goes dark? Companies who adopt the fastest and adapt the fastest always come out on top. I think the internet is likely the greatest infrastructure ever built. It's also one of the most fragile. Every time it breaks, it's a reminder of the world we've created, a world connected by invisible threads that can snap without warning. I think the good news is if you're aware, if you're prepared, if you're proactive, hopefully you won't just survive the next outage. You'll outperform the people and businesses who assume the internet will always work perfectly. Because here's the reality. The internet will fail again. Your website will go down again. The question is whether you fall with it or whether you rise above it. I hope this is helpful. Just talking about a modern current event that probably affected most all of us yesterday. Thanks so much for your time and watching. If you enjoyed this, consider giving it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much, and I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful day.